new beginning, the opening match day of the season, and a keen sense of optimism enveloping everyone. Who will come out on top? It's Leeds United. They face Tottenham Hotspur, and the action comes your way next on EA TV. And here we are at the home of Leeds United since their formation back in 1919, Ellen Grove. I'm Derek Ray at the microphone, and joining me for that commentary is Stuart Watson. And there are a few more enjoyable days on the football calendar than opening day in the Premier League. It's Leeds United up against Tottenham Hotspur. Well, thanks, Derek. These away fans come here fully expecting their team to win the title this season. If that's to be the case, they need to get off to a good start and win this game. And a look at the starting 11 for Leeds United. Well, I think they have a nice balance to their team. A solid back four, two holding midfielders, three creative players in advance of them, and a mobile centre forward. It's a good team. The starting lineup for Tottenham Hotspur. Gillian Mbappe plays with Vinicius Jr. in the wide areas. And in this tactical setup, they have just the one player in attack. And so the battle commences. Berger. Luka Sucic. Mark Guehi. It's with Vinicius Junior. Vinicius, and he stopped them in their tracks. Well, he's the player many people have focused on in the build-up to today's match. Up against his old club, and that's never easy for a footballer. A mixture of emotions. Well, I have to say, I never really played well against my old clubs. I always felt the spotlight was on me. I think he might find it difficult today. Godoy. Kuipers. What can they do from here? Must score! Oh, a shame that he couldn't find the target from there. Mark Guehi. Kylian Mbappe. And after that fantastic effort, it's gone out for a throw-in. Sucic. That's a well-struck pass. And the keeper making sure that there were no scraps to feed on for the attackers. And intercepted there. And it's a slide draw. Pass! He went for placement but not to be. Well, that's a big miss. 1v1 against the keeper, and he's missed the target. It's 
Spurs recovering possession well. Vinicius Jr. Might be able to get in behind the defence. Well, it didn't really go according to the script, did it? Well, the less said about that, the better, because that's a really poor attempt in the end. Well, Spurs have controlled the last 15 minutes and have played some really lovely football going forward. They must now make it count and get themselves in front. Now can they win back possession and carve out another chance for themselves? Can they take the lead here? And he read it well, intercepting it. In with a chance! And that's a very good parry. And a foul in the opinion of the referee. Now, what can they do from this free-kick situation? steps forward I expect him to hit the target and he's only inches away there Vinicius Junior a super tackle and they've won possession and players waiting in the centre Credit to the keeper, but surely he should have scored there. That's a big, big chance. Great reflex action. Well, that should have been a goal. Mind you, it's a brilliant save. Playing it short. Back one. They've been breathing a sigh of relief. Ball one. And teammates to play it to. Mbappe! And it's in! 1 0. They've breached the defence. Well, it's great awareness of space in the box, and then he shows a lot of composure with the finish. That's a clever goal. Tottenham Hotspur. One then. Number nine, Killian Mbappe. The referee has added on two minutes of stoppage time. Good looking sequence. And options in the centre. Takes the shot. Well, he saved it well. Well, the crowd are doing their bit. Can they find the equaliser here? Got a kick played in. Well, still an issue here. And there we have it. The half-time whistle. That will do it for the first half here at Ellen Grove. Well, they've got things going again here, and I wonder what kind of second half we have in store for us. They could pick out the teammates. 
maximum commitment and he's given away the corner. And he's gone short with it. Horton. De Jong. It did look on for them, but not to be. Vinicius Junior. And a no-nonsense clearance. Might be onto something with that ball. Mbappe. In it goes. That will greatly help the cause. Now they only need to keep concentration levels high. Well, as you can see, he hits this with so much power. But just look at the follow-through. So athletic. That's a dynamic strike. Back underway with the lead standing at 2 0. And it wasn't a great pass, was it? Vinicius Jr. Vinicius Jr. And disappointing for the players of the centre that it didn't reach them. Well, Chelsea making waves on the transfer front, and he could be available before you know it, Stuart. Well, the reported fee of about £40 million pounds is just... about right I think both clubs will feel they've done well out of this one but only time will tell well as you can see Spurs have completely controlled the possession they've passed it well their movement's been good and they've been well worth their lead could get even better here yes who knows maybe another opportunity in the works for them given away by Spurs Concentrating. Can he put it away? Able to close down the shot. Happy to take on the shot. And the referee has pointed to the spot. Penalty given. An opportunity for 3 0. In it goes, calmly converted. Well, here's the replay, and he just strikes the ball down the middle. The goalkeeper gets out of the way. It's a really good penalty and no danger that the goalkeeper is going to save that. Back underway here and it's been all Spurs so far. You sense there could be extra punishment dished out. Greenwood. Dylan Bakwa. Well, that's how to keep the opposition at bay. And the counter looks on here, options available. And he's in. And it's come off the keeper. Well, they survived the attack. Norris, determined defending. OK, just hearing the situation has changed in the Brentford game. To what extent, Alex Scott? Yeah. 
on the clock. Thanks as always to Alex Scott. Just 10 minutes remaining here. Now a decent position. He got in the way of that cross. Well, they've been getting the substitute ready, and now they will make the personnel change. Well, good clean catch by the keeper. Given away by Tottenham. Technique displayed. Can he take the chance? Well, very effective goalkeeping to touch it over. And the corner kick, the referee's verdict. Smuggled away. And that's very good refereeing to let the play flow. And the referee blows his whistle. It's full time here, and Spurs have prevailed. Your assessment? Yeah, it was a good result. They played well, and they're now up and running. That's just what they wanted. Just the sort of performance they were looking for from the talented Kylian Mbappe. Well, he gave that back line a torrid time, didn't he? He was far too sharp for them, always looking to play on the shoulder. Took his goals well too. Clearly the difference maker today. Must score! And a shame that he couldn't find the target from that. And teammates to play it to. clearance might be onto something with that ball Mbappe in it goes that will greatly help the cause now they only need to keep concentration levels high An opportunity for 3-0. In it goes! Coley converted! 